and welcome along and welcome back to Meadowgrove Farm. Woo! Let's not hit them. Um, today we have the baler on the back of here. We are heading back down to our grass fields. Uh, so we've got to finish this job off. We need to get this baled. Uh, we want to get this baled and we want to get this uh, collected up. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Um, after that, next episode, it looks like what we're going to be doing is uh, doing some seeding. And then we need to turn some attention to the cows. Because I think the cows may have some milk for us at this point. Um, but that's a way off today. It's all about finishing off these fields. Uh, these fields are going to do us some good work. So unfold that. Turn it on. Drop it down. And we should. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to bail up all this hay. Get this uh, get this done and dusted. Uh, these fields should give us a decent amount of hay looking at this. Well, we're not very far through it already. And, and we're already sort of 80, 90. There we go. We're full already. Fantastic. And so we should get a lot of bales off this. Um, and doing that is uh, is going to keep us going in hay for a while. Because uh, I think hay might be... Yeah, hay is the primary thing we're feeding our cows at the moment. Uh, we've not got any silage yet. Uh, we've not got any grass uh, that we've got for this either. Um, so it is, yeah. Uh, and we're not going to mix ration either. That's the other thing that we've... Uh, that we're in a position where we haven't actually got yet. So, let's get this one done. So that's two bales already. Uh, this should motor through this job fairly quickly. I'm not anticipating this being a big job. Uh, we do have a lot of field to get through. We've got three, we've got three of these, of course. Um, but it's all, uh, as you can see, we're, we're doing this at about 11 miles an hour. And as a result, it's, it's working rather well. And, uh, wait, there we go. I'm going to run over too far. And, uh, and this Fortima is a really cracking baler. I and mean, this is the third or fourth time we've used this on this map. Uh, and it does, it just works really well. I like the fact that it is, uh, it is very able to handle pretty much everything we throw at it. Uh, and the fact that it uh, unloads uh, incomplete bales as well is really useful. Uh, it means that we end up, we don't end up on most fields looking at putting in a, uh, you know, a, a straw bale at the start of the field because we were baling straw last time and we're now, we're now on to baling hay or anything like that. Uh, it means, yeah, we actually do end up with what we want. Uh, in our baler, in our baler for a field. And, uh, and when we come to collect it, we then don't end up with an issue. Let's line this up. And get back in. And doing that, it's, uh, yeah, it just keeps things very simple. That is not picking up. Why is that not picking up? I think we need, yeah, we didn't have our pickup down. That's why. That is the small issue with uh, with pulling the pickup up uh, to do with the manoeuvring. Is you've got to remember to put it down again. Otherwise, you're just not going to pick anything up. Hence the uh, hence the name of it being a pickup. This also unloads fairly quickly. Uh, the thing I would like, uh, and I've, I would kind of liked since uh, FS19 first came out, is uh, that when the baler finishes, when you've uh, when you've actually got a full baler in there, I would really, really like it to stop beeping. So beep until you're full, and then stop beeping, uh, so that you can actually know there's been some sort of status change. Because at the moment you can go and you can hit 100% and uh, and and not realise it because the beep is still going. Because the beep kicks in at about. 90 percent ish, I think. There we go. Unload that. You can tell when it's unloaded because the uh, the amount of hay in your baler drops to zero. Always a, a useful thing to keep an eye on that. So we're going to come out at the end of that next row. That next row is going to be fun. 
Baylor is down. Good. So we're picking this up. And uh, I'm working rather nicely. So, yeah, good number of bales off here. Uh, we, we are going to use our auto layer, or, or, sorry, our auto stacker to come and collect this up. It's quite useful having that small auto stacker on this map. Um, it means that we don't have to uh, drive around and do uh, a lot of um, stacking with our front loader. Uh, we can just use that when we get back to the farm. And, uh, and we just jump in the case here. When we want to, uh, when we want to actually do some stacking itself. Right, that's onward and upwards. Looking very good. Looking really good. Nice set of bales on here. And this is just off the first field. You know, we've got two more of these. We've got another one that is a similar sort of size to this. Let's get this little strip here. Uh, and then we've got one that is uh, one that is a lot smaller. Oh, wow. Yeah, actually, we'll go and grab all of this. Because we don't want to leave any of this behind. Some in the hedgerow there. That will be a lot more difficult to get hold of. Uh, but in general, yeah, this has been a uh, yeah, this is this is a really good field. This is coming up nicely, and I don't think this was uh, fertilized or anything. So next time uh, we do this field, uh, we'll do this field for silage next time. We've got a, we're going to use a uh, we're going to use our pickup and, and do that, uh, but that's a little while off. Let's do the far one because we're going to struggle to get that one. Uh, we will have it fully fertilized, probably spread with lime as well, because I would guess that this is uh, in need of some lime. And uh, and it will be a really, really good thing for it. Is that going to hit 100% before the end of the row? Yes. Just... Right, I'm going to swing around. We may have to reverse up for this next bit. Wow. Not just reverse up. Let's get our pickup down. A little bit there on the end. We'll grab this row here and move on to the other field that's a similar sort of size to this. There we are. And uh, and get that picked up as well. So it's... It is doing well. It is doing very nicely, this. And, uh, and grabbing everything. We want to... Actually, we'll get that little bit there before we move on to the next field. The more we can grab, the better off we will be. Right. So on to our second field with this. So I don't think this is going to take us more than about 15-ish uh, minutes. I don't think we're going to cut it, really. Uh, as in, uh, cut the video. Not, not We've already cut the grass, of course. Uh, and uh, and we'll get this all collected up. Yeah, 100%. It is a decent speed that this tractor moves with this baler. Both this tractor and baler, though, are about 50 to 60% uh, uh, worn out. So we do need to keep an eye on that. I think we'll be fine for the end of this. Uh, but I think going beyond this, we'll probably want to look at getting our baler repaired. Uh, before we use it next time. It's not affecting the speed of it yet at the moment. And I kind of wish, I, I do kind of wish that there was some more um, functionality to the wear and tear. Than just sort of slowing things down. Like maybe, uh, maybe you don't get... You see, I think on something like a baler, I think it'd be nice if maybe you didn't get a full bale off a uh, off one that's that's got a little bit of a problem, or um, you know, it's certainly moving slow. I def I definitely think when stuff hits stuff hits zero percent, I think if a piece of equipment hits zero percent, you shouldn't be able to activate it should absolutely require a repair and uh, and similarly i think with a tractor if you hit 0 percent you should be able to activate any machinery on it 
um, you should, you know, uh, or your, uh, you know, anything you connect to it, it has the same issue in that it either isn't activated or goes really slow or the moment, front lift, front, um, I'd love for uh, front loader attachments, front loader brackets, uh, to, um, to not be able to lift anything. So you can lift it up, but you can't, if you've got, uh, if you try and put a, uh, a bale or anything on it or any kind of weight on it, uh, it immediately just sort of falls down. I think would be a really good thing. Um, so I think there's, uh, yeah, if there's any modders out there who want to play with the system a bit more, that would be awesome. But uh, yeah, I want to do, uh, yeah, I've got a couple of uh, scripting mods I want to take a look at. Scripting would be the, uh, would be something I'd be better at, I think, than modeling stuff. Uh, and we do, of course, have the landy that I want to get building. I bet that's all by the by. We are getting a very nice collection of grass here. We are going to have plenty to do for our cows. That is going to be a pain to get into that row. Go and cut because it'll be easier to line ourselves up with that. There we are. All right, 98, 99, 100. There we go. Empty it out. Now, does this case have an opening door? No, so this isn't one of the opening door mods. I do, I find myself checking that now. Um, I know, I think our class on here might have an opening door, uh, which would be pretty cool. I, I think I saw myself uh, driving around with the door open. I know our combine does, because I definitely was driving around with the door open on that when we were harvesting, I think. Uh, this is a lot of hay bales. I was worried about the amount of hay we had left on the farm. This is completely completely change that we are going to be able to feed our cows for quite a while with this and this is only a second field of three it's uh it's really yielding fantastically well right, which is good to see very good to see right so and with that is bailing up. I have a feeling the pickup on this is quite narrow based on what I've seen so far today. They seem to have been missing bits a little bit. But we don't seem to have been that far off the course most of the time. So, yeah, I know what's causing that. There we are, 96, 97, 98, 99. There we are. Done. Put that up. And there we go. Yeah. I know a couple of people aren't uh, huge fans of this tractor. I really like it. I, th I think it is an absolutely beautiful tractor. This. Really is. I'm actually going to speed up our game day. Uh, because I think this will be the last job we do this game day. So getting all of these bales collected uh, will be the last thing that we do before sunset on this game day. And then uh, it'll be a good time to go uh, planting. Uh, so at the start of the next game day, give everything a good chance to grow and uh, get going on that. Uh, we are nearly through this field got the little one to do and then we're going to go and get our bale stacker uh, stack the bales up we're going to be doing a fair amount of traveling back and forth so we may do some uh, cutting of the video at that point but uh, certainly while we're doing this i'm not feeling the need because we're kind of blasting through it uh, we're uh, we're doing a, a really great job of getting this uh, done proper bale and stack this is going to be. Lift up my header and collect. There we go. Yeah. 
taking every other row sort of helps us to uh, keep things nice and easy. And there we are. Can see that. I haven't really looked at how long it takes to get a the baler filled. Is it a row and a half? Let's see where we are with this. We are 42%. I oh, know we're gonna be we're gonna be full before the end of this row. That's 40% full off uh, off half a row. Yeah. But not as much as I thought we might be. That's alright, we have one more field's worth to get. And away we go. Right, there we are. And turn it off. Really good number of bales. As I said last time, I'd quite like to um, clear out the... Uh, Uh, quite like to clear it out. Oh, I forget what I was going to say then. I got distracted by something. Right, so turn it on, drop it down. We'll get this bailed up and then head onwards. Ninety four, one hundred. So let's empty that out. Right, close it back up, and away we go again. Fantastic. So yeah, this is going to take us a lot less time to bail this up. It is. Uh, much, much smaller field. Now we have left more around the edge. That is not going to work. We'll have to try and clear up that, that stuff around the edge. We really will have to try and clear that up. So that feeds into my whole slightly less wide pickup on this. You can definitely see how that um, affects it. That should place. Yeah, that place is of a row. Fantastic. That means we get a, uh, a decent amount. I'm, I'm amazed actually as how high these rows are. I can only think that, that maybe this was properly uh, and fully fertilised. We'll take alternate rows for the rest of this. It will make our job a lot easier. There we are. There we go. Even off this field, we're going to get about four or five bales, I think. Tight round by that tree, but we're good. Yeah, we've got one, we got, we're about to get our fourth bale off this field. I mean, that's even with missing a little bit there. Next lot. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Very, very happy with that. Oh, 
Oh, I'm actually tempted to leave it there. Although that's going to cause us problems for the future. So let's gather up the rest of this. We may be able to get an incomplete bale off this. And let's get around into the hedgerow here. Oh, wow. Yeah, not somewhere I want to really normally be. That is not filling up very quickly at all. So what we're going to do now is, uh, as once we've got the stuff out of this corner, we are going to head back up to the yard. We're going to collect our bale stacker. Uh, we're going to have about three or four trips uh, with this, uh, with the bale stacker. Uh, it's, um, wow, we really do not have a lot to pay here. So the next one of these, it's going to be a hay bale. That's annoying. Uh, I would like, I'd really like it if there was a, a baler that you could just unload and it would just unload a mess. A pile. Oh, I'm going to try and get that. There we go. Uh, but there we go. That is all done. Let's take this back up to our yard. Uh, and then we'll be back down here in a moment with our bale stacker and, uh, and collect up our first sack of bales. So I'll see you then. Back down at the field now, and we've got our bale stacker on the back. Uh, I have discovered we have 25 bales and an 8 bale bale stacker. Uh, so that is going to be three trips and a single, which is very, very annoying. Um, but hey, -oh, there's not much we can do about that. So we're going to get all of these bales collected up. Uh, it's quite nice, this bale stacker. Works really good size for this map. Uh, it's eight bales is, you know, is a, is a decent size. Uh, it is just annoying that uh, the only way we can use it on here. Uh, uh, it's annoying that the capacity, sorry, uh, means that we need to do more than three trips. I was hoping we were going to get just, uh, just the two trips in when I saw the number, or just the three trips in, sorry, when I saw the number. Uh, but it, yeah, really wasn't having it. Uh, we've got five so far, that is six. Two more. Seven. And eight, so that's interesting. So the other field must have more bales. Because it's, uh, because we've got all but one in here. So that was nine bales off this field. Uh, we know the small field does not have eight bales on it. It's not as big as the uh, other one. So it must be nine bales on the other one. And then maybe seven on the uh, on the final one. Uh, or even ten and, uh, and six. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is... The, actually, this is the only issue I have with this farm. Or with these fields. Is the trek back to our farm is pretty far. You know, we've gotta we've gotta go sort of half the map, uh, really, to get back to uh, to our farm. In fact, yeah, we, we do. We travel about half the map. Uh, which is quite this especially with the you know, going up the hill like this. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's let's get up there and uh, and get these uploaded. Uh, get these unloaded, not uploaded, unloaded. Back at the yard, and we're going to take this right round to the far end. Now I think we've got all the gates open down the side here. Yeah, this will be the easiest route. Right. Quite a nice route. There we go. And. Right, so we've got three bales there. I'm gonna need to get the other bay, uh, the other tractor back up here and deal with that uh, before we can unload these. Uh, so I'm gonna pop over and uh, and get it sorted. So here's our GT380 back up at the farm, and I'm hoping my bale spike is over here, which it is. Uh, so we might go drop off the front bucket. Ooh. Got the wrong piece of kit selected. We'll drop off the front bucket. There we go. 
do like that. Right, so drop off that. Turn ourselves around. And get our... Is that a pallet loader? I think that might be the pallet. I'm hoping that's not. That is. Where are... Oh, I know where they are. We haven't bought any. Instead, we were using the ones off the warriors. We don't have... This is, again, one of the things that we have. Because we don't have the... Um, bit with the... Because uh, we don't have a huge need of these outside of... The... Uh, outside of this job. We didn't actually buy a separate set of... Uh, now what I want to do, ideally, is we have a single bale left on the field. And we know we have a single bale. And these really want to be in stacks of four. So we can stack this on here. But I kind of want to top this off as a stack of four later. And um, we can't do that if they are right at the back here. So I'm not quite sure what my solution for this is going to be. Can we get a stack of three out on the bale spike? That's the question. Will that work? Ooh. It's going to take a steady hand to do it. We may have to um, we may have to stack the uh, whoa ah oh, rat had it had it right until the end that one will go on that's not too bad and stab this one and put it in there we go. So, yeah, I think we're going to have to move our uh, stacks in there by hand. Uh, probably the best way to do it. Uh, if we've got a steady hand like we had for that, for the most part, we should have no problem at all. So, we'll get one of those sets done now. And, uh, and you guys can see that. And then I will get the other three trailers in a bit off the field separately. Um, because we don't want this video to go on for too long. There we go. Drop them. Forward we go. And fold it down. And we'll turn that off. That will come down. Yeah, so this may not be the best. Um piece of kit to do this with. I want to get straight onto that. Right. Very carefully get right up to it. This is takes. This is where it takes a really steady hand. And I'm very glad we have all this weight on the back of the tractor. You just inch backwards and you try and not make any sudden moves. Slightly more reasonable pace. Line ourselves up. And hopefully, not catch the wall or anything. Yeah, you also have to slow down more carefully. 
Oh. And it's in. There we go. So, got one more of those to do. Uh, and then, as I said, I will get the others done off camera. Uh, but we will have all of our hay bales up here. And a good stack. A good stack of uh, what, 28 by the time we've got them all up here. That should hopefully keep our cows going for a while. Ooh, ooh. Uh, but before these tip over and while the sun is setting, uh, I'm going to leave this here. Uh, so, let's jump out. All that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Twitch. And don't forget to ring that bell on YouTube to get the notifications. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.